Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Kathy. I'm here today with a candle stash for my candle collection, should you say. Um, this is all the candles I have in the house. I don't buy candle at full price. That's the one thing I don't do is buying candle, like whether it's a um, bath, bed, bath and body work candle or um, a WW candle, just like, what's these? Yeah, like Trilogy, WW Trilogy candle or any candles. I don't buy them at full price. I always wait when there's a discount or if there's a sale going on or I even go to like the outlet mall to buy candles. So these are all the candles I have. Since October of 2018, I don't lit a candle anymore. I don't burn them anymore. I would cut them up and I would chop them up and melt them like um, my wax melt. But instead, I put it in, I have a warmer that is super ginormous. It holds a lot. So I put it in that one and I have it on when I'm away because it's a safe one. It doesn't, um, it's not dangerous to have that warmer on 24 seven. So that's the one that I have on during the time that I'm away from the home. So when I get home, ugh, my whole house smells so good because that candle is on and I don't feel like it's a waste because candles are so much cheaper than wax anyway. So let gets into the stash or my collection that I have. These are Voluspa candles. These are the one that I got during, oh, I don't wanna, can you see that? These are the one that I got during the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year. Um, so I got it and it came in like this big, the, the mini, it's called the Veluspa mini candle set. So I think you get, let me see here, one, two, three, four, and five, five different scents. And they're about, each of them are about 4.5 ounce. And it came out to be $26.50. So that's pretty a good deal for um, 4 times 5. That's like 20, I want to say, but it's 0.5. So 22 ounce of wax for $26.50. So that's a pretty good deal to me, I mean. For Velaspa, anyway, I, I know they're... The only place I've seen them so far is in Nordstrom. This is the first time I purchased the candle. Regular price was $40. So you got like a $14 saving. This one in the... This one I got is Prosecco Rose. I got Bourbon Vanilla. They, they smell very light and yeah, very, just like a hint of something. So I'm going to put them in the freezer and I'm going to try and see if I can pop them out and then chop them up and do as melt instead. And that one was um, Mascar, Ebony, and Peach. And then I got Casca Pacifica. So it's California Driftwood Sea Salt and Shore Brush. And then this one is Arantia Blackberry. So Arantia tree, I don't know what Arantia is, if you can see that word right there, if my stuff will focus. There we go. And ripe blackberry and acai. So that is the mini one. And then I also, with that sale, picked up the big one the mamas so in the big one they came out with two collection uh darker packaging like the, i love these packaging better i like it better than this look how pretty that is isn't that so cool i picked up a few set of this and i actually gave it as a um, christmas present this past christmas and then they have also these one just gonna drop them there so yes 
So you see how these are lighter and these are the darker one. So this one is um, Prosecco Bellini. So it has, yeah, it's just a Prosecco Bellini. And these are actually, how, how many ounces are these on? Hmm. This one, it doesn't say how many ounces the bigger one is actually. The smaller one did, but the bigger one, oh, I am so blind. 11 ounce. So you get three 11 ounce in the bigger, um, in the bigger collection in the mama's size. So Prosecco Bellini, what does it smell like? Oh, it just smells nice, like very fruity, light, fruity, kind of masculine. And it's a two wick. The other one was a one wick candle. These are two wick, uh, wicks candle. That one. And then another one I got is uh, Sidro Persimmon. I know what persimmon is. I don't know what Sidro is. Yeah, very fresh and fruity. I think it'll be good for during the spring that we're coming up. And macaroon. This one is very bakery. This one is sweet and bakery. And then for the darker collection, see how the packaging it has a darker hue to it. And it's so pretty, isn't it pretty? I think I'm gonna keep I'm gonna take out the wax and I'm gonna keep the container for some other uses. This one is pomegranate blood orange. Oh yeah. I definitely can get, I got the pomegranate and the blood orange. And this is um, a coconut wax blend. So these are coconut wax. Next one I got is Chris Champagne. So I think this is going to be the fizzy pop kind of. I don't, I don't get it. I get a very light scent. Yeah, like my nose is all the way up next to the wax and I can barely get a scent out of that. I don't know if I'm going to ever pick up another Veluspa candle. I think I want to try homework candles. I heard homework candles are very good. Well, there's some drama going on lately about that. I heard, um, you know, watching YouTube, but I want to try it anyway. Yeah, so this one is Mandarino Canela. Hmm. These, it doesn't have the description like the little one. The little one um, has the little description like what kind of um, scent they are, but the big one doesn't. So that is that. And then this, I got two of uh, the Chesapeake Bay Candles White Gardenia. I always like to buy things in pair before because I would like both of them on opposite like in my... Um, living room so I, I like the way how it looks like in pair but now i don't really burn them anymore because like i said um i will show you why i don't burn candle anymore in a moment but i prefer to have them chunk down and you know melt as wax but yeah so this one i actually burn and then i stop so this one Yep, smells like gardenia, but I don't think I, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to take it out because the way how this is, you see how it curves in and then it comes up. So I think I might have to buy a hot plate for this to make that work. Yeah. So I got two of that. Put that down. Now this is a Yankee candle, and this is why I stopped. Um, burning candles. Can you see all that? The soot? And yeah, so it was all over my counter, all over my um, table. It flickered and I mean the burn was clean, don't get me wrong. It, it, it didn't tunnel or funnel or whatever. Tunnel, I guess. That's what everybody call it. I'm not very good with the terms. But it was sitting like crazy. So I was like, nope, no more. 
This one is All is Bright from Yankee Candle. The smell is really nice. So I think I'm just gonna pop it out and melt it. Yep. And this one I got at the commissary. No, not the commissary. The NEX. Um, we're military, so I was um, able to shop in the NEX. So that's where I got that. I also got this one. This is the Crackle as it burned. Um, the Ruby Sun Sunset Cheer Elegant Lilac and Lily Candle. So on the top before, it used to be a lighter pinkish color. And then now I burned it. So on the bottom is like a magenta very pretty color but yeah so it's lily and lilac so i think on the bottom right now is the lilac i think i burned out the lily already yep and if you can see on the inside it's like a wood kind of wick so when you burn it it crackle like fireplace or firework wood yeah like a fire place wood it's kind of interesting i really like it And I got these two also at the NEX, White Lilies. I really like, um, before I used to like really like white flowers and florals and stuff like that. But I think my nose and my um, preference has changed now. I don't really care for floral anymore. I like more masculine scent. But these are good. I think my mom will really enjoy them so I think I might give them to my mom or just keep them on the side just for emergency um, candle because we do live in a place where sometimes when it rains it does knock out the power so it's good to have some candles in the house to light I'm not gonna put them all in the freezer and burn them or and melt them these last two I got from Ross dress for less I like to go over there to get clothes for my son and I always go into their candle or their home decor um, area to check it out and it's really cheap. This big gold thing was $7 and it is, how many ounces is this? This is 14 ounces for $7. That's crazy cheap, right? So yeah, I burned it, I think, one time during a blackout. So this one is, actually, the smell is not that great. This is jasmine, just straight up jasmine. Yeah. But I think I'll just keep them for, like I said, emergency candles. And this one is also jasmine and peony, also $7 from Ross. This one smells better. I like the jasmine and peony one better. So, yep. Those are all my candles from diff from other companies. Now I'm gonna come go into my favorite place where I get my the candle from, which is um, BBW or Bath and Body Work. I'm gonna pause this real quick and then come right back. Give me one sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My lights was kind of blinding my eyes. It was kind of hurting. So I was like, oh, I gotta tone that thing down. So Bath and Body Work has the best, to me, so far, candles in my house. So to me, so far. I mean, I haven't tried a lot of other candles. So, you know, it's not like, don't quote me on it. I'm not saying that it's the best out there ever. I'm just saying to me in my house so far that I bought, I like Bath and Body Work brand the best. Now, I know a lot of people's like all oh, saying the wick doesn't, it's like they get puny wick syndrome, they don't pull right, and you know, a lot of stuff. But then again, ever since I purchased since October, October was the last, I think October 4th or October 5th was the last day that I lit a candle. Since then, and before, I never really know um, what it's supposed to do. Like, I would light a candle. And sometimes I would get nose blind and I was like, oh, I don't smell anything. And I would have three going on at the same time because I want a strong scent. Always have and always will. I really like my house to have strong scents. So I was like, oh, well, maybe it's just me. You know, maybe you're just used to the 70s 
scent of the candles already but now I know because sometimes I guess it get puny with wick syndrome or halfway through it wouldn't perform well that's what I heard a lot but now I don't burn it anymore so I I never get that since October I just chop them up I put them in the freezer I take them out I chop them up and I put them in my warmer and I always get good performance and so I gotta say I'm glad I'm happy so this past candle day I went hog wild and I got a bunch of candles because it was like $8.95 for one so I was like yeah I'm gonna get myself some so these are the one that I've got I'm gonna show you I some of I have two pile on this side because this on my um, left is all the one that I have saving I'm gonna I'm gonna have it as a collection so I don't want to burn it I'm gonna just leave it and on this side is the one that I'm gonna burn so the first one I have and is let me go so this is what I mean when I chop them up and I'll put them in base um, bakery bag and they are not they're not a nice chunk or anything like that they're just any kind of chunk because I like to melt I will change them out every four days so I melt a lot like a good bit of them so this one is vanilla balsam really really love vanilla balsam actually I got so this is one here's another one so that's two so this is how it came in this container sorry I don't want to try, I'm trying not to blind you so and then I just peel off the sticker put them in the freezer wait like about I want to say two hours and then take them out and then let them sit for a little bit so that it doesn't it's not super cold it come back to room temperature and then I take out the wick I pulled it out with using um a scissor you go on the bottom and then you I'll do a chopping candle chopping video if you're interested to see how I do it and then chop them up and then I peel off the sticker and stick them on the bag so I have one two three and I think one more in here yeah four vanilla balsam love 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 it love it so much it is so good it smells like a very it smells like winter or christmas it smells like winter not christmas per se but winter it is balsam fir frosted vanilla snow cap pine needle i'm not a big fan of pine or fir you know balsam for but I really like this for some reason and I haven't been good I have this candle melting for like a week now because I'll ch like I said I'll change it out every three days I'll dump out the wax um into let me see if I can show you yeah see like this I would hot dump it out and then I would change it put new um melts in it's really really nice I really like it so that is vanilla balsam. I'm trying to put all of them. The next one I got since it's right here next to me is the forest flurry. So I took off the sticker, the whole thing. And forest flurry is made with lemon, orange peel essential oil and note of eucalyptus and patchouli you know how much i like eucalyptus or if you've been if you've been watching my channel you know how much i like patchouli love patchouli oh i'm not gonna smell that because there's nothing to smell anymore in that oh, it smells it smells so fresh and fruity and it has that mint it has a note of minty to it it's the eucalyptus i think yep yep so see chunk it up just toss it in there okay 
next one. Oh, and this is not actually, I should go to this one. This one I got as a birthday present from um, my brother's girlfriend. And this one is a candle from Hallmark. And it doesn't say what kind of candle it is, but it's just of an acorn. How cute and adorable is that? It's so cute. It's white and gold, two of my favorite color too. It smells like vanilla, just vanilla, a simple vanilla. And I don't think I'm ever going to melt it because I just like the decoration. I don't, I don't like that scent too much, actually. Well, we're already 20 minutes in the video. I should speed this up because we have a lot. I have cranberry woods. I think I have two of them. Yep, one in here and one over there. Cranberry woods. Love cranberry woods. Oh, it's tart cranberry cinnamon bark frosted cedar so yeah I have two of that I also have two crisp morning air this one is crisp fall breeze white oak golden amber wood saffron and soft sandalwood it's yep a lot of um, musk wood sandalwood smell it's very manly it's very um it's like the outdoor, it's like you open up and you're walking through, like when you're hiking, like if you're going on a hike and you smell all those woods, it's very fresh, really like it. I'm so bad at describing the scent right now, but yeah. Next is flannel. I have two of the flannel as well. And flannel is orange peel, patchouli, and notes of soft musk. It smells, it doesn't, I don't know why they name it flannel. Because it doesn't smell like any like flannel shirts I have or anything like that. It just smells like, you know, like when, if you have a husband or boyfriend and they got out of a shower and you give them, you know, and they put on, if they shave or they put on a clean cologne, a nice cologne and you hug them and you smell like by their neck or their face. Yeah, that's what I get. I know that's weird, right? But that's that's the scent that I get. This one is my favorite, favorite. It has to be my hands down number one candle that um, BBW make or Bath and Body Work make, and it's mahogany apple. Look how cute that little guy is over there. So I got one, two, two. I'm pretty sure there's one more around here somewhere or two more around here somewhere. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure there's two or three more. I love this scent so much like it is so awesome sauce it's like i said one of the my favorite i went on a hunt on that day um candle day when i got into the store and i was like oh do you have any more mahogany apple and they're like which one is that and i was like oh i don't know it's it's the one with because when i bought it it has this label on it too this is the packaging it came with and i was like oh it's the one with the hedgehog playing the drum and she's like no whatever we have out is what we have out yeah so i had to look everywhere and it was actually in the corner on a table like with all the other candle all the surrounding and i took the last i think five that they have left so yeah love this let me tell you the scent it is Mahogany wood, golden apple, pink peppercorn, fresh lavender sprigs. It just smells so good. And I get the lavender and the apple and the mahogany together. I'm going to try to see if I can recre recreate this in like an indie vendor wax. It's so good. One of my favorite all time. I want my house to smell like that all the time. And then one of my son's favorite scent from Scentsy is blueberry pancake. 
he looked and surprisingly i thought i was gonna hate it because when we picked it up i was like oh, i don't know about this one do you really want to do blueberry pancake but it's actually so good so when we went to get the candles he also wanted to get blueberry sugar that's right and you know what he's right it's really good it smells really it smells like blueberry it smells sweet blueberry brown sugar and graham cracker crust i don't get any of the graham cracker because like i said i haven't melted these yet i only so far i only went through a an empty of um and i'm going to show that in my empty videos i only went through flannel i went through vanilla balsam i went to of course mahogany apples and yeah so so far only those because when you chop them up actually they go they last so much longer than if you were to burn them like i said a candle can last you almost a month because you can chop them up into small and then you can place them all over and it lasts a couple days instead of just burning it it goes through so quick i can burn through a candle i want to say like within a week and it's gone and i was like oh okay because like i said i like to my house be constantly have a smell to it so yeah i just get straight up blueberry and i really like that i think it's gonna be a good summer um spring summer transitioning smell i also got two or three of the mahogany teak wood and it is sage clary lavender essential oils with notes of rich mahogany and black tea wood teak wood men's cologne straight up that's what i get a man masculine men cologne smells so good though so good I really like my men's cologne. I also got mahogany balsam. Now, I like mahogany apple. I like vanilla balsam. Now, if I take mahogany and I take the balsam, mix it together, maybe I'll like them together. So this, I got on, a, like, I didn't even smell it. I was like, just grab it because it was crazy during candles day. So I got two of this. So it's juniper, berry, balsam, and mahogany. I get the balsam and the mahogany, but I don't, uh, it smells very, a man on Christmas day. Yep, but I like it. And I don't really care about the packaging. Like I said, most of the time I just recycle these anyway, because I got, I, we have, I go through so much candle that I'm like, what am I going to do with it? Like there's so many I used to use them to put all my makeup brushes in, but I only have so many makeup brushes. So, and my daughter would use to um, put her her pens and markers in, but then these are made out of glass, and I'm afraid it might break. So most of the time, I just recycle them. And then second is or next actually not black tie. I heard a lot of people rave about this, and it's a ramp aromatic sage dark tonka bean and rich sandalwood i'm thinking it's probably masculine as well oh that smells so good oh my goodness if they make a cologne out of for guys out of this i would or a body care i would totally buy it i would love this in a lotion it smells so good and it's weird i do use men's cologne or men's lotion as well. I have snowflake and citrus, which is orange lemon with note of sweet mango. Oh yeah, it smells really nice. I don't get the mango so much, but I do get the um, orange and the lemon. I think on warm, maybe the mango will shine out more. And then I also got 
I only have one of this, so I don't want to burn it. So that's why I kept it on this in a pile where until I get more, then I'll burn because I want to keep it as a collection or um, my friend call it hoarder status, but I call it collecting or collector item, white pumpkin. And this is white pumpkin, autumn spice blend, ground cinnamon. A lot of pumpkin and cinnamon, yep. And I think I just wanted to have one just because, just because to say that I have one. And I think I also got, if I'm not mistaken, something with intent. See, more mahogany apple. Yes, here you go. Mahogany tea wood high intense. There was only one left. Oh yeah, it bumps the other one. This one is so much more stronger. Or maybe it's just my mind. But yeah, this one is so much, definitely so much stronger. It is the intense version of our classic home fragrant notes of rich mahogany, blackwood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. Oh, it smells so good too. So yeah, those are all my candle collection. Um, yep. I... Oh, and actually, there's one more, actually. Let me see. I wanna... Oh, here you go. Harvest Gathering. Actually, this one and Mahogany Apple is up there. This is probably number two. Fresh Pick Apple, Autumn Berries, and Cloves, but... It smells so... It has a citrus smell to me. I guess that's where the berry is and it has that spice. It smells like, to me, it smells like Yankee um, Candle Apple Pumpkin or Scentsy um, Cider Mill. For some reason, that's what I get to me, Harvest Gathering. And yeah, I'm not gonna, like I said, these, I'm not gonna melt until I get more. That is all I have. Thank you so much for stopping by. And then um, let me know what other can... I really want to try homework candles. I really do. And I don't care about any of the dramas that's going on. Because like I said, I don't burn them. I don't like burn the candles. So I wouldn't wor have to worry about how the performance is. As long as it has a smell. As long as it gives a nice smell. Then I'm good. I'm good with however you might perform. Because I don't burn the candles. So... I, I can see why other people be like, oh, it doesn't perform well it, or it only performed 50% and then it gives you that kerosene smell. But in my warmer, it performs really long and that's all that I do is melt. I don't, it's so much safer. I can have it on 24 seven. But yeah, please leave a comment down below what candle I should try or what brand or what scent. I really want to try it like, marshmallow fireside i didn't pick it up because on cold when i was sniffing it i didn't like it and i was like oh but now i really i'm really like oh i should have just grabbed it one at least but yeah i think maybe the next time when it has like 50 percent off or 10 dollar candle deals then i'm gonna pick it up because right now it's like 24 dollars mm -mm. not gonna pay for 24 dollars for a candle no sir mm -mm. thank you so much for stopping by and you guys have a good day. Bye.